here we go on number three on your study guide. This is one that you were able to use a calculator on. I wanted you to solve this using uh, graphing. So you wanted to graph on your y equals screen. Well, in order to graph on our y equals screen, we need to have each equation in a form of y equals something. And I think it's pretty clear that these aren't. So what I'm going to do is solve each of them for y. The first one, I get negative, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 12. Now I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. That gives me negative, negative. That gives me y equals, um, I get a positive 3 halves x and then plus 6. That's going to be y1 in my y equals screen. My next one, I'm going to take this one and solve it. Subtract 7x. I get 2y equals uh, 7x negative. I'm putting it there because it's more of a y equals mx plus b form, plus 8. Then I divide everything by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Oops. Um, and that gives me y equals negative 7 over 2x plus 4. I'm going to let that be y2 in my y equals screen. So I'm going to graph both of these. Uh, most issues that people have had in class have been that they've typed this into their calculator the wrong way. Um, so make sure you type in the right numbers in. Graph it. Find their intersection. You do second calc. I think intersects like 4 or 5 or something like that. And you get a solution of x equal to 2, comma y equal to negative 3. And that's your answer right there.